I know. And healthy it was like shit, a picture perfect relationship. And I was like, this is cool. Speaking of healthy, who's this? Oh, this we hot Brad. <laughs> so, we yeah, so we have Marissa Lauren here. Ooh, and I love Lauren. Oh, sorry, Lauren. It's okay. Well, it was funny because when we looked you up, right? Because you were highly recommended by listeners. Like, you have to yes, get her on. Marissa Lauren. Lauren. Which is really like, cool to yeah. hear because that's always right? like, feels really nice. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We. Like I tried to look you up and I of course was spelling your name wrong because I was like, oh wait, there's one S and you know, right, yeah, Lauren. It's fine. And Plus, so, we can't spell anyways. So I can't like, it I'm, doesn't bother I'm me. Okay. Illiterate. Yeah. <laughs> but we love but you. Yeah. We were like, this is really unique because it really has you stand out. And so we end up talking to Chelsea about you, who's our like oh, photographer yeah. friend. Yeah, so and much. she She's told us awesome. isn't she's she? so great. She told us a story of you guys up at Mount Charleston. Yeah. And uh like last like, minute photo shoot we decided to go do. Yeah. So what was the weather what like? Happened? She was trying to explain oh, it. To it was us. like twenties, I think, oh, up she- there. Like cold and windy. And I'm like barefoot in the woods wearing almost nothing, yeah. like trying to do like Halloween photo sure. shoot. And she's like, are you OK? I'm like, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm just like tough as nails. I think that's what she said. Right? She was like, dude, she just went out there. She fucking just did, did it. it. Like she didn't fucking complain. Like she wasn't even in, shivering in that condition. She's like, she's a fucking true professional. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm from Colorado. So oh, like, it's cold there. Yeah. 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 Wait. So what made you move to? Las Vegas then um well I moved to Florida first oh. from Colorado because I'm from like a pretty small town there and I just kind of wanted out uh-huh. so I moved to Florida I was there for a couple of years kind of hated it it's so humid and gross uh-huh. I was just sweaty the oh, entire humidity is like ter- yes, yeah. from places I We're didn't know you Coast. sweat from I'm like oh my ankles Constantly. are super sweaty all the time like my elbows is this normal why are my ankles <laughs> fucking yeah, right sweaty here. just yeah. everywhere yeah. I was yeah. just like I'm like ugh, all the time so then I got offered a couple jobs to v- in Vegas and I was like well I'm not really happy here so fuck it yeah like I'll just move out there in like a month and see how it goes and been here like two and a half years now Okay. So you yeah. love it? I do like it, but I'm moving again. So. You are? <laughs> where happening? are you going? No. Um, St. Louis. <gasps> That's where I'm from. Really? I <laughs> live in St. Louis. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's yeah. going on there? What's the um, deal? I just like I work with a company that's based out of there, but like um, I want to start a podcast too. Okay. So my person I want to do it with, he's a criminal defense lawyer in St. Louis. <gasps> Yeah. Oh, you love crying. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and nice. so I was like, well, I can move anywhere because of what I do. Yeah. And I was like, well, I have friends and like support system out there. So I was like, I'll just give it a go. It seems to be like, fuck it. Seems to be like my motto. When sure. It comes to or moving. yes. Or yes. Just, I, like, yes. Yeah. I'll, do like, it. I'll just yeah. try it for a while. Yeah. And if it doesn't work out, I'll just move again. Oh, I think you'll right? love St. Louis. I yeah. miss it. Yeah. There's so much culture there and there's so much stuff to do. And yeah, first forms there, right? Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Because my brother, I think, worked for them like super supplements or something yeah sup- uh, supplement super stars. that's what it is yeah. yeah and i was like oh that's really cool i had no idea they were there and yeah. you know of course once i'm away i know so it's just one of those things that's so cool so cool so i have to say i feel like i'm hearing a little bit of a twang yeah yeah right yeah. that's why i was wondering what it's colorado i'm from like colorado twang <laughs> I'm from like a like grew up on a farm. I'm from like a pretty small farm town. Mm-hmm. So I just think anytime you grow up in like the it's country so or the sticks, like you're gonna have you have an accent. Yeah, a I little think, bit. I've, I've met people from like all like California who live in like like the sticks and work on a ranch and they have like an accent. It's so I'm true. Like, There's places yeah. like Sacramento type or like Bakersfield that they all have southern accents. And yeah. it's, but it's I think it's California. country and not southern. So like yeah, I've yeah, met yeah. people country. from the south and it's yeah, yeah. different. It's no, you're a right. lot more twangy. Yeah, or like yeah. thicker oh, depending yeah. on where you're, you're right. from. You're right. So yeah, but people always think the south. Sometimes they're like, "Where are you from?" And I'm like, "Guess." And they say, it. "I'm like, sure." Sure. Texas. I was in a guess. Tennessee. Georgia. Yeah. Like, like Alabama. I was waiting to hear yes. That. I don't know. Sometimes sure. I just don't feel like, You're like explaining because it's always like, I'm like, Colorado. And they're like, <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, well, where have you been in Colorado? They're like, Denver. I'm like, that, okay. Not well, really yeah. Colorado. Nothing, yeah. yeah. Not even the same, but there's okay. So much more to Colorado. <laughs> yeah. than Wait, there's just... more cities than Denver? What Wait. the fuck? I'm... I mean, there's not really cities. There's just small towns. Yeah. Like, or like, Vail. They're like, you don't sound like you. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you do out here then? For I'm a tattoo artist. <gasps> well, okay, oh, I could have guessed. No. Oh my god, <laughs> where what got you... you into that? Yeah. Um, First of all, I'm admiring now all your oh, tattoos. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Do you do any of yourself? No. Okay. I, I, I so. always tell people what I mean. I'm like, yeah, only my back. And they're like, oh my god, how the fuck you do that? Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm like, yeah, you should yeah. really get tattooed by me. I'm really yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I just 
I was 19 and I was going to call or I mean I dropped out of high or college at 18 and I just like didn't really know what I wanted to do I always mm-hmm. thought I wanted to do art tattoos was like a thing that had crossed my mind but I was like I don't know how you do that yeah. I don't know how you get into it yeah so the artist in town that I wanted to get tattooed from was the one I wanted to learn from oh, so cool. I was like well I'm gonna go get tattooed I'll like bring some artwork I'll bother him until he gives me a job yeah that's, which is pretty much I love what that. I did I was just like it worked it did I wore him down he didn't yep. want to work with anyone he was alone he yep. had been like Kind of had like a shitty experience at the shop he was with before, like mentoring someone. So he's like, I'm never doing it again. And I was like, but I'm here. So like, maybe you should and just I let keep me stay. Up. Yeah. And he was like, fine, fine. Like after a few months. So then it just worked out. Consistency. Like, yeah. People see it and they go, I admire that trait. Like, yeah. So this is someone I could probably yeah. want to work with. I think with. it just shows like, oh, you have initiative exactly. and you want this. And it's you're not, not like, going to just give up exactly. if things are hard. Yeah, like, which exactly. is, I'm sure, the experience he probably had before, which was just like, they just fucking yeah. leave. Tattooing like, is a weird industry. Like, there's people who are like, "Oh, it sounds cool," but they don't realize how difficult and how hard yeah. it is. Mm-hmm. And, and it's so a they just, yeah, yeah, it's a business, and it's like there's a hard learning curve too. So they're like, "Oh, this is gonna be cool." People tell me I'm good at drawing, and they're like, "I'll just tattoo." Oh and gosh, then, isn't it diff- like completely different? So right? different. Yeah. yeah. So they you get they get into it, and they're like, "Oh, this is harder than I thought it would be." And I can't tattoo right away. I have to wait a couple years, and then like, oh really? Well, that's for like if you do it a. a proper apprenticeship it's usually like a year or two depending on who you um learn under Mm -hmm. so mine was a two-year apprenticeship before i really started tattooing people Mm -hmm. so and when you practice you have to like oh you fuck up oh my god are you kidding i would be so nervous thing it's It's, like surgery yeah i always think about the first time a surgeon has to do surgery like you're just that's like really, I'm cutting, it, I'm like cutting into your fucking yeah. body. Right? I know. Yeah. It's like the like first time living, you not tattoo. a dagger. But right, what was the first tattoo that you gave someone? Um, do, you, do you remember? I it do all? remember. It was like this little like devil head. It was color. It was like not anything like I would do now. But a friend of mine was like, "I'll let you tattoo your first tattoo on me." Like I trust oh, yeah, you. you. People oh, like okay. that yeah, too, yeah, right? Probably shouldn't. But yeah. okay. But okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but yeah. It was like, like it, it cool turned out like one. decent because my mentor like stood over me and was like, "Do this, do that, pull okay. that," and I was just like, "Okay." doing it and then the next day he was like okay now like you get to go on your own oh. and i was like that's probably not a terrible idea Whoa. yeah and so just, yeah. all of the ones after that i'm sorry to whoever got that uh, not oh, good no, but, but listen, like they know I bet they like, uh, some, people, some people like track Shitty tattoos. Tattoos. <laughs> it's true some people do and some people just love free shit which yeah. is what i learned i'm like doing free tattoos go. and they're like oh there you go. Yes. It's like Don't extensions. care what it is. Some as people, long as they're in. Some people love the beautiful art on their bodies and other people just like putting stupid tattoos yeah, on their body because they think it's funny. Yeah. yeah. Like my husband's friend has, I think, a, a dick butt. Like a dick butt. Yeah. So it's a <laughs> dick. Like it's like a dick human. And then the butt. Oh. And it has a butt on the end of a dick. And it has like, I think, feet. Oh, like it's okay. on his butt. He always like showing it to people. Well, yeah. And it's like. Classic. At least it's on his like someplace he can cover it. It's you funny know? as shit because it, yeah. it's he's funny, so it's just okay, uh, yeah, yeah. whatever. You know what I mean? Works it, with the oh, personality. It works with the personality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I you totally see a lot of different ones. Have you had any anyone ask you to tattoo their genitals or buttholes and stuff? Yeah. Well, s- thankfully, n- like where I'm at now, people don't ask for it. But when I first okay. started, there was this girl in a bar, clearly drunk, of course, and she was like, "Oh my gosh, you do tattoos." I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I was still kind of new. And she was yeah. like, I really want my labias tattooed. And I was just like, oh, okay. Oh, but I was like, and I was like, out of pure curiosity, I'm like, what would you want? And yeah. she's like, I don't know, something sexy. And I was like, Mm-mm, nothing. no, literally nothing. I said, like, what so, would you want? Yeah. Write the word yeah. sexy? Yeah, I'm like, uh, I don't think that's a thing. I was like, <laughs> I've never sexy. met a person who was like, oh, that chick was super hot, but she didn't have her vagina tattooed. <laughs> so, like, uh uh-uh. uh, uh-uh, not hot enough. You should have <laughs> just, you should have just written on there something sexy yeah, yeah oh, that's why oh, yeah that's, that's what she's right i'm like oh you want literally like those something words sexy. Something sexy one for each <laughs> people say i like weird that stuff now like that though oh my god you're gonna have I'm to gonna, get it now. i'm gonna show <laughs> up sexy to north carolina and you're gonna be like tiffany look at my cooter it's not something sexy like are you kidding i did it look what i did <laughs> aren't you proud of me my husband on his ass has uh asian writing yeah but it literally, literally says Asian, Asian writing, writing in America. It's in funny. American. When I saw that, I laughed there. I was that's like, so that, funny. That's so raw. <laughs> so I should probably get one on my labia that says something sexy. But yeah. um, people do weird <laughs> shit like that. People have, I know one guy who has around the world. 
like written the on letters. his butthole. Oh, oh, yeah, and ouch, and weird. And I know, too. right? I just there were like you go to a tattoo convention, it's like a shit show is the easiest way to describe it. Why this? Just cause yeah. everyone's I mean, like, tattooed. You have, like some good artists right okay. like whether they're tattooers or not like they're artists and then you have people who tattoo and are kind of trashy and so like you'll go to a convention depending on how nice it is and like one time there's a girl just ass up getting her butthole tattooed with cameras and people walking oh, around just shit. like yeah no fucks just yeah. like she was like i'm loving it yeah and i'm like this is everyone look awful. at my chocolate starfish yeah <laughs> Oh my! Like, I can't imagine good on heal- her. healing that. Good on her. Oh like, my gosh! You, right? Like I'll sitting down, better, like and pooping, and... never shit while you're healing it. Like I can't oh imagine. God. You can't. I'm like, I don't know what you have to take to like clog yourself up so that right? doesn't happen. Oh, but shit. and she's gonna have a constantly lubed up butthole too, Ugh. right? Because you put like aqua. Yeah, you have I to like, imagine that you. I, I haven't had to do that. <gasps> no, I don't. I don't know, know. know. Yeah. but I would yeah. imagine you would have to keep it like moist so it doesn't like Clean? stick to itself yeah. like because they you know like tattoos they get like scabby and stuff i know, yeah. them, so, oh, I know. well how many do you have on you because you have quite a lot i don't, I don't at you this don't point more? right who knows whatever. i've yeah. never counted like yeah. even the first one i'm like I, I mean i guess it's one but like it's <laughs> yeah. just it doesn't matter to me like yeah so that's nice though because you can pick up and just go it is nice. yeah i got a lot of freedom currently which is Great. Yeah. Yeah. And you also, so you are pretty big in the gun community, right? I don't, I don't know if that's the right term. I mean, I don't feel like I Well, am, you're not, but... a, you're not considered a gun bunny. Well, God, thank God. Yeah. I know I haven't been called one no. yet. No, which, uh, you're, you're not. You're, uh, considered, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're considered like one of the truest, like, oh. into no, guns. And, and she's in the guns. Like, she's fucking yeah. proficient with guns. Like, she's, yeah. she knows how to shoot. Yeah. Um, because that was like one of the things that people I think brought up too about you. And I'm curious kind of how you got started in that. I think I saw a video of you with, uh, crispy and, Mm. uh, Oh, Eli and Eli. Mm. And I'm I'm curious about that too. So how'd you get started in all this? Okay. Well, grew up on a farm. So like Uh shooting's just like a way of life. So recreational shot, like my whole life. Um, like the last few years I had been really interested in doing like competitions because I thought they looked fun. So when I moved to Vegas, I got lucky and I met people who do shooting competitions and asked them to take me out and like teach me and then started doing them. And I really like, I like, I'm a competitive person. Mm -hmm. So like once I start doing something, I like it. I'm like, oh, I want to be good at this. Like, I don't want to just do it just to do it. Like I want to get good. Like I would love to win matches. Like that's what the whole point of me doing this is. So I've only been doing it for like a couple years now. Like competitively oh okay. awesome yeah um now what which ones is it the three gun comp or so is it just, just pistol, pistol? Okay. i've done some rifle and two gun competitions but it's mostly pistol mm-hmm. um i was doing carry optics for a while and then i recently switched over to open which okay. is like a harder division but it's yeah. fun do you like the pistol better i, d- I it- think because at first because i was so used to like shooting rifles growing up yeah. that it was like pistol was harder so it was like a challenge uh-huh. i'm like oh i suck at this like i have a video Let of the first better. time i went yeah. shooting like for like to try to shoot like steel targets and it was with my like concealed carry which is like a sub comp uh it's like a smith and wesson uh nine millimeter okay, shield yeah. so it's terrible mm-hmm. to shoot for like we're like 15 yards and i'm like this is like the most embarrassing video i've ever seen and <laughs> well, i because you weren't hitting anything i, I like, was like was barely just... hitting anything and yeah. i was like i thought i was a good shooter and i was like why is this so hard and, <laughs> hey, like, and it was like somewhere. it was nighttime yeah, yeah. and i was like oh and so after that I was like i want to be fucking good at this yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. like this was stupid i'm so embarrassed so. that's yeah. how i feel <laughs> like pistols are too for me is I mean, I didn't really shoot much. We did like hunting when we were younger, but it was me like bow and arrow with a yeah. dad. And so the first time I actually shot a rifle was in the military. Isn't oh, that crazy? Yeah, that is crazy. And uh, I did not do good my first time. <laughs> I bar- I just, I got the minimum. They were well, like, oh, a minimum. Because they heard, they hear that you live in Missouri. So automatically they think that you're like some country bumpkin. Yeah, and you're yeah. like, right, shooting all the time. And I'm like, no, I'm not, I lived in the city. <laughs> like I've never yeah. shot anything in my life. And so that was something I got used to, but I do like the pistol a lot more. Yeah. I think it's a little bit more challenging it too. Is. It is, a and of course with conce- carry and conceal, yeah, you can have that bad boy on you whenever. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. So that's so you do the competitions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you 
like go to ranges are you asked to go out and like do you train people oh no 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 i'm do not you? that good yet oh, okay. i feel like you like yeah because i'm like just started competition shooting and getting better like i don't i wouldn't feel comfortable like i would take a new shooter out no problem that's what i was gonna ask yeah you. and like i would gladly take people to come and like shoot with me and other people if they wanted to like learn but like i'm still learning mm-hmm. so i feel like that's kind of a shitty thing to do uh-huh. is try to like oh i'm really i'm like i'm and the you, best like, teach them I'm the not. wrong way yeah, yeah <laughs> like, I'm, like i know a bunch of people who really are the best yeah. and like I'll send them like I'll yeah. send you their way and uh-huh. they'll teach you. Um yeah, so there are ranges like Vegas is actually cool. It has a lot of really cool ranges. Yeah, so we I have that. Pro Gun, which has USPSA and um they have another league there too for matches and then I'll do steel matches which I actually really like. It's a little more satisfying. But um uh, and then there's like a lot of outdoor ranges that you can go shoot at. Mm-hmm. It's great. I know well the thing is too is like um have you been to Battlefield Las Vegas? Yeah, I went recently. Did you? Yeah. And they have like every array of gun yes. you could possibly shoot there yes, too, which do. is pretty cool. It is cool. And like you could test it out before you want to buy one. Because yeah. guns are not cheap, folks. <laughs> no? Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no. They're not I like a couple I got... dollars. <laughs> yeah. I wish they were. It'd be a lot easier to get them. Yeah, I'd have way more. <laughs> I know, right? Like that's my biggest thing is like I would have probably more guns if I they were a little bit cheaper. Mm-hmm. So uh, do you have anyone in your life that you that were like completely against shooting or guns at all and then because of you they kinda like got into it or did you talk? I like, had I'm a, curious what people think. A client. I think most of the people that know me or follow me like realize like that yeah. I like guns. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so we do. So that's kind of why they like stick around. Sure. Um, but I had a client um, who flew in from Denver. He's from Colorado, and I was tattooing him, and like something came up about guns, and he went and he said a comment, and he was like, "Oh, I'm sorry," and I was like, "What?" And he was like, "Well, I forgot that you're like really into guns," and I'm like. And? that's okay like yeah. but like why and he's like i'm super liberal and i was like okay okay that's, okay. Okay, that's fine and i was like well since you're super liberal like i'm guessing you're very anti-guns I, yeah, which is why this came up and i was yeah, like yeah i was like i'm just curious as to like why like mm-hmm. it, give me your reason and explain it to me like i'm always curious yeah and he was like well i just like they're so easy to get and i was like have you gone to a yeah, gun store? Tried? And have he you said tried no. To get one? Yeah. He said no. Oh, and I was like, and I was like, well, then how do you know? And he's like, well, the internet. And I'm like, oh, okay, what? that's here we go. So I was like, well, let me explain to you, like, kind of <laughs> how internet. it works, yeah. and like Facebook. even, yeah, yeah, like even when I like without like when I lived in Florida, I was trying to buy a pistol and I didn't have a Florida license yet. And I was like, I couldn't get it. And then I was like, and then when I did get my like. I got my Florida license, but I didn't have my concealed there. So I had to wait like a week for me to get, be able to get my gun, like explaining him these things. And he was like, oh, I just I didn't realize that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, there's like a wait period for a lot of guns. And it's like, it's not super easy. I'm like, I have it concealed. So now I can get them easier. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, OK. And then we like stopped talking. And I got an email like, uh, I don't know, a couple of days later thanking me for like, I don't know if I changed his mind completely. But he's like, thank you for being so like respectful and yep. being like educative and not making me feel like bad and it wasn't like combative and he's like you really opened to my eyes to maybe like a different point of view and i was like that's all i could do like yeah. you might not change your mind and but- why is that so crazy right, right? now do you know what I it's mean? It's surprising. Because people like, don't want to have a conversation. They want to fucking argue. Well, they want to be on one side and they yes. want you to be on the other yeah. side. And they want, like when he said, I'm so sorry, you know, yeah. like yeah. I'm this way. Yeah. He was and starting I love, off. I love on your side of it or our side of it where yeah. we're pro gun. Like on our side, we're like, cool. Like, yes, sir. it's okay yeah. if you don't like guns. Yeah. Like, but they're like, but it's not okay <laughs> if you do. And we're like, but wait, we're okay with you not wanting yeah, one. Yeah. Like, that's okay. Yeah, like, I just want you to be educated. Like, if yeah. you have a stance, at least be able to back it up with, like, sound reasoning and facts. Don't and just, yeah, like, correct. listen to someone else and be like, well, we're on the same side, so they must be right. I'm like, there's a lot of pro-gun people who are fucking crazy. Yeah. Like, and, we don't agree on everything. Yeah. And, like, the media will have you believe that you're right, that you could just walk. They they make it seem like you just walk in and get one. I know. And I like, know everyone from having to get yeah. my gun license, stuff like this, it's not like that. No. So... No. I like that you asked him, hey, like, so what's but your why? stance, yeah. right? And you can have a good dialogue with him. Yeah. And because of that, right, yeah. he now is like, oh, I yeah. learned Maybe something. Maybe there's more. Yeah. Look at that, yeah. folks. You can learn something new every day <laughs> when you're not an asshole. Well, we had a politician on here, was it two shows ago? Yeah, Anna. And, oh, yeah. Um, you know, she was just kind of like, do you guys 
put your political beliefs out there, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, I don't, but I will talk to anyone. That's how I feel. That's all. Like I do not, I'm never going to like not have someone on or not have a conversation or not hang out with someone Mm -hmm. because of whatever they, because they may not agree with you. Exactly. So maybe I'm not out there with mine, but I, I will never like not hang out with someone because, or not talk to them and like ask them questions about, yeah. The only yeah. time I think for me it would become a problem if that person's trying to push their stuff on me and they keep doing it af- time and time again no, when yeah. I ask them nicely, yeah, yeah. like, hey, you know, like, no, it's totally understandable. Yeah. Like, but you don't but try there's to some people me otherwise. And then that's where it might be like, okay, we might have to limit yeah. time. To well, we'll out. lose like certain guests sometimes because they're like, because of what we talk about or who we have on. And I'm like, mm. then I didn't fucking want you on the show that's anyway. So cra- like, it's so crazy. Yeah. Many people are like that. I'm like, you don't have to agree with everyone. Like that's kind of the whole point of having of like opinions yeah, and like having your own personality. Yes. You will make your own decisions. People are like, well, if it's not my decision, I'll fuck you. And yeah. I'm like, that's such a weird <laughs> mentality. <I'm not> <laughs> like what? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, what the hell? We're okay. supposed to be different. We're not all yeah. robots. Like, like believing and doing the same thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's just crazy that society is like that. Yeah. So I'm curious because um, I'm ready to leave here soon, like Vegas. Oh, Vegas, yeah. And you're it, ready to oh, leave Vegas. I am. How do oh, you dude, live? No. See, this is the here. thing. Here. I lived here before that. And too. I know. Did you, did yeah. you like it? Um, Where did you live? So I lived close to here. It oh, was uh, uh, no. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't. I know. I wasn't far enough. I wasn't on the strip, but I was. Yeah. It was like Tropicana, you know, paradise. Oh, okay. It was. 15 minutes away probably okay right? i mean everything in vegas is like 20 30 20 minutes. 30 minutes and i get to i get to i know you're but not I would like, like on the strip all the time you're not partying all the no, time no. right so but i get that but this is a very the strip is like its own little fucking island yeah. here okay. with all the crazies yeah. and all the people who come in just to party and do whatever but like outside of the strip like actual vegas it's actually pretty nice it feels like a really small city Does it? yeah it's like a small it's not a big place like like it only gets 20 30 minutes to get like all the way across vegas yeah. and it's not that bad and i feel like any place you can do all the things you do in vegas mm-hmm. like anywhere else every other city has like drinking and yeah. drugs and prostitutes or whatever but like so if you're into that, living here might be terrible for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like, I'm an old lady. Like, I go to the gym. <laughs> I got Same. cats. Yeah. Like, yeah. I stay home. Like, I just like, what I do here, I do everywhere else. It is nice, though, because like, everything's 24-7 pretty much. I yeah. can get food or go to the gym anytime I want. That's really yeah. nice. Super nice. Yeah. Especially with the gyms. Like, Dude, meeting, it's great. Even meeting 24/7 people all for the drinks time. sometimes, too. Yeah. 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 It's like, yeah, I can meet you, you can go today. anywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's great. And like, there's always stuff to do. Like, there's a lot of outdoor stuff. Like, I like hiking and like stuff there like that there's stuff. tons of outdoor yeah. stuff and then there's tons of because the shooting community is great here yeah, like yeah and okay uh, well i'm convinced i'm moving here now know. it's yeah. actually cool like if you live here and you're not like on the strip all the time which yeah. most people aren't it's not bad it's yeah. actually pretty the only cool. the other thing too is when people come to visit you oh yeah and they're like they want to party hey, come vegas to style yeah. and you're like I live yeah. here, bro. Like, good I don't want to do that. I know that. people like, yeah. it, for like SHOT Show, though, yes. it's like everyone's in here and they yeah. have the mentality where it's like, well, it's kind of work, but it's mostly play. Yeah. People are out getting, and they're like, and they, it's all, this is what I hear. It's like, it's Vegas. And I'm like, I live here. I live so here. So it's not Vegas it's for not. me. Yeah. It's home. And yeah. I got a, I got a bed. And, I yeah. gotta- and they'll <laughs> always be like, they would come into town and be like, oh my God, because someone's always here. I'm going to Vegas. I'm in Vegas. I'm in Vegas. That's and true. That's like, a good thing, too. You're like, I have to. I was just always like a loser because I'm like I have, I have to, to work. work and I live here I and I life. it's Tuesday <laughs> like I can't fucking I'm not go turning up on a Tuesday. <laughs> um, I probably got I was the towards before I left I like stopped drinking. I was like gotten the best shape of my life like because you're just like okay, dude. Yeah, so I'm like right. I'm fucking done. Like I'm gonna not go. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like when I first moved here, I kind of was I like on it. the strip and How you like do you? that twenty. Eight. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it yeah. was like, you know, I was bartending, making a bunch of money. Yeah. Like, you it's know. hard when I feel like if you work on the strip too, mm-hmm. in yes. the like industry setting, that because hard, that's yeah. what everyone does when they get off work. They either gamble yep. or they oh, drink and party. Sure. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. So like, I I know people who work on the strip and I'm like, I don't know how they fucking are alive. I don't know how they do it. Yeah. Dude, that's it's all hard. they do. Yeah. And then and you're I'm walking like, by and especially if you gamble a little yeah. bit. And yeah. Yeah. Especially if you cash. Cash. you're like, oh my gosh, I just made a bunch of money. Exactly. Maybe I can make some more and there's nothing. And then you start drinking. And and you're like, yeah, it's like, oh, well, they I give me free drinks when I gamble. Yeah, oh, shit, great. I'm saving like, money. <laughs> this 
is where it all <laughs> happens. All yeah, it's it, like dude. a vicious circle. Yes. You have no yes. idea what time it, what time it is because so they do. I did, that's yeah. the worst part. Is I'm, they do I remember it on one purpose. of the first times I ever partied oh, yes. super hard in Vegas. We were all inside, and of course the casino is like you know it's bright as fuck yes. in there. Um, and you still think it's dark outside. And we walked out. It was 6 a.m. <laughs> yeah. And oh, I was yeah. like, what the fuck? It's morning. Like, I got to drive back home because I lived in California. And I was like, I have to drive. Oh, my gosh. Well, I one can't of my drive. Lowest, drinking. One of my lowest moments out here, there was Crazy Horse 2 by the freeway. I don't know if it's still there. Yeah, the strip club. There's a Crazy Horse something. Yeah. I yeah. So there. there. Two or three or yeah. something. But it's like under the freeway. And the lowest moment was walking out of crazy horse two or whatever under the freeway at six in the morning on Christmas. Oh Day. yeah. Oh my, my family's not here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to stop drinking. Yeah. <laughs> fucking go to the gym. You're like a come to Jesus moment. Dude, like, oh, this fucking is. Work too. You like, got those moments. <laughs> yeah. Cause you're like, I've hit rock bottom. Man. Like, yeah. There's no way to go. But uh, <laughs> but if you don't have that realization out yeah. here or like you, or you're like, I don't go to the fucking strip. I'm whatever. It will take you down. Oh, for sure. If you don't have the wherewithal to have that moment, yeah. Not everyone can walk out of the crazy horse stand <laughs> of the freeway on Christmas morning. <laughs> um, and so have that moment. Why I love you. So anyway. I love it. But uh, a lot comes up. I mean, I love Vegas now, but yeah. like I, when it's I went bad, but back after, it I think it's gonna be weird to move yes. and then come back and be a, like a yes. visitor. Yeah. Like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stay on the strip. Like I, I know. don't. It's gonna. I'm. I'm like still thinking. I'm like I don't know how this is gonna work. Yeah. Because right? like like I know if I come back, I can stay with friends. But if it was for like an expo, it's it's a pain in the dick. Yeah, exactly. To freaking so drive all the way here. The strip traffic and everything it's around such here it a takes mess. forever. Yeah. So I'm Might like, as well oh, be on it. yeah. And then that's I'm like, the oh, that's we gonna feel so weird. You no, know, you're yeah. gonna be like one of the touristy people. Oh, I know. I know. I'm gonna be that, gonna be that person who's like, well, I used to live here, so yeah, like, exactly. I'm a local. They're like, like no. okay, bitch. Like, <laughs> nice. sure you are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the nice thing They're is, like, you're staying on the strip. Yeah. You're not. Yeah, you're fucking local. not. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, the nice thing has to be when you live here, right? Is that so many people vacay or come to Vegas for conventions and things? Yeah. That it seems like you wouldn't people. have to travel yeah. anywhere. They come to see you. Yeah, I mean, it happens a lot. I feel like there's always people coming into town. Yeah, yeah. Because let's be real. If who's not going to want to go to Vegas? So I know I got married here, right? And so uh, my husband and I, we wanted to do something like super, super small, just with like our immediate family. And I asked Good. my parents, which cracked me up because I grew up, you know, in St. Louis, but we grew up in a Christian household, kind of sheltered. And I said, "Hey, so you guys want to do the wedding in North Carolina? Or you guys want to do it in Vegas?" My dad goes. <laughs> fucking Vegas <laughs> and I was like oh shit dad okay <laughs> and like I had no idea and they were like of course like it's kind of like a destination wedding thing yeah. and of course his parents were loving it and it was fun to see my dad my oh dad I love you if you listen <laughs> my by the way my dad told me he texted me when I was at work right remember I showed you oh, the yeah, yeah. I, he, my dad was like hey listen to your guys' episodes <laughs> And he's like, I'm so proud of you. Um, and I stopped listening once you guys start getting into some extracurricular oh, activities. Yeah. I was like, well, yeah. Yeah. Mark, well, not for the dads. It's not yeah. really not for the dads. Not for the dads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dad, uh, he was he was cracking me up. So he's a he kind of is a partier if you don't know him though. And he, he doesn't do it all the time. And he was drinking and he was trying to keep up with Chris's like my husband's dad. Mm-hmm. And he um, went to the bathroom and then he was there for a really long time. Oh, and I was like, Chris, go check on my dad. And he was like, I'm pretty sure he passed out on the toilet. And I was like, yes, dad, like this fucking rally. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Like, I'm, I'm like, I'm so proud of you. Oh, you had my a party. God. You know? Yeah. We had such a great time. So, but that is, that's the fun part, right? Is people want to come here. Yeah. Get I married. Guess. Oh, Hard, like, yeah it's fun you know. uh fremont was cool when like chelsea took us down there it was fremont's like, cool yeah, yeah it was kind of like is this sort of where you guys go a little yeah, bit it's, that's like the thing when i moved here it was weird for me because there's like every other city or place i've lived in there's like a downtown yeah like where locals go yeah like businesses and offices and bars and restaurants yeah yeah, yeah. and vegas doesn't freaking have that no like it's all casinos yep. and clubs and like there's tourists and it's just like it feels so weird to me still like they're like three months where the locals go and I'm like but it's it's still it's very still touristy like, yeah, yeah yeah I'm like okay yeah. but it's not really like where do you guys go and I'm like well, that's it I'm like that's weird okay yeah. well yeah okay I don't know who's from here and who's not because it's just like a little yeah like, mesh yeah of, I was like, trying everyone. to figure it out too when I was mm-hmm. in there I was like looking around the bars I was like, like who's local you can't tell here probably lives like here i don't really know what pictures yeah yeah, yeah. oh yeah With, fucking good. so one thing we love here is the food mm, um good food like i mean you work out all the time and you're in great shape yeah. um 
You're like, eh. Well, I think you look <laughs> we great. We all say that. Oh, yeah, man, thanks. Not, eh, yeah, like, I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> but is it hard with all the, the food here? Or do you just stay away from it? Yeah, I don't. Well, not like, on the, if you're not on the strip, strip like, it is a real. You really don't go? You're not going to be like, hey, I want to go to real Gordon place. Ramsay's, like, restaurant tonight? It's, you know what I mean? It's kind of, whatever. it's literally for, like, special, like, not special occasions. Occasion? But, like, oh. I mostly eat at home. Like, oh, I well, cook yeah, food. Yeah. Like, I'm always going to eat out. That's, yeah. yeah. So, like, okay. but when I do go out to eat, I'm like, yeah, I want to go somewhere, like, good. Fancy. Yeah, good. I'm not, like, fancy. I'm not that fancy. I'm like, oh. I don't want to have to wear, like, high heels because I'll die. But, like, I just want to go somewhere that has you good You got food. heels on right now. Co- They're, like, boots. Boots. Heels. Oh, okay. Boot heels. Yeah. No, I Way get you. easier yeah. than, yeah. like, a now I got, like, high I, got, I think I got weak ankles or something because <laughs> I look like a newborn baby deer if I try to wear, like, real stilettos or something. Like, I've literally been that girl where they're, like, like you see the drunk girls where they're just like clumping around like, yeah. falling apart and I'm like they're like oh my gosh she must be so wasted I'm like I'm not don't even drink just no. feet hurt real bad yeah. Yeah. oh and they yell at you if you're barefoot I've had that happen too they? I totally went barefoot the other night yeah, yeah. depends on where you are they certain like they hate it yeah. who's, who's they the casino the people who work here will literally yell at you because i've had it happen i'm like went out with friends they're like there's a dress code for certain places yeah yeah, yeah. so you kind of have to wear like a dress or heels or something and i was like struggling like i literally was like couldn't walk i was in so much pain and i was like i don't fucking care so i took them off and the dude was like you gotta put your shoes on i'm like i'm going i don't care like i'm out yeah (laughs) and i was like what are you gonna i was like will you carry me out of the hotel i'll let you i'm like you want to kick me out bro (laughs) you gotta take throw me over your shoulder let's do this bring me out yeah, like, oh, yeah. throw me out. And he's Please. like, what? I'm just like, my feet hurt. When I first, <laughs> like, when I first what came you doing? here, when I, when we first, came, I first came here when I was 21, not living here, but just like came here. There's these weird rules that you wouldn't think of in Vegas, right? Because yeah. you're like free for all. Fuck yeah. Like da da. And then you can't like high five over a table. Like if you're playing oh poke, or something. no oh, yeah i can't yeah no so at tables know if you high five someone no. over kicked out yeah if you curse at the table say fuck shit something like Wait, this too much playing table too the, much like if it gets like aggressive aggressive yeah if you're saying it like fuck fuck every other well probably how i talk which is why i got kicked out for it <laughs> i curse anyway, a lot <laughs> oh, see, well, yeah, like, i'm speaking yeah. from experience yeah so probably why <laughs> but like i was just so surprised i was like and you know, I was like drunk kid. I was like, "Are you fucking serious?" Yeah. And the phone like, thing. Yeah, I didn't realize. Like, oh, I didn't know either. Yeah, yeah you can't like even if you're tech because they no, they think you're in a video or yeah. whatever. Yeah, and then you can't fall asleep anywhere. Oh, no. So like on the like fucking slot machine, slot machine, machine on nothing. the ground or whatever, putting your head down, falling asleep. That's like we're immediate gone. Fucking yeah. out. And these were things that I was like, I thought this was like Sin City. You, you do, do whatever anything. you fucking want. And then I was like, I can't high five my friend. I can't <laughs> curse. I'm getting. Can't sleep like i can't use my phone i don't know i was just like what's happening Ugh. but i mean i get it now sure like you got to be a certain level yeah. of like keep it together or else this whole place would literally crumble no into yeah oh yeah a fucking madness mayhem even more but so. i was really surprised when I I was like, oh we have like weird rules here that you wouldn't yeah. you can pretty much of. be naked anywhere oh, yeah. but like don't wait you really curse. yeah i mean like you, he, what, what can you oh yeah can like, and cannot dude, show i don't know i just I don't know if it's like a thing. Because you can't girls, show your nips out there, right? I, girls I, can be basically naked. They're well, pretty much naked. I mean, I think they have, st- like, I see a lot yeah, of they, girls working, like, see, show girls that have pasties on. Yeah, I see the pasties, But I see yeah. freaking tricks who leave, like, day clubs and thongs and just, like, yeah. naked. And I'm like, you're in public. Like, I get yeah. it at a pool, but, like, you're out and, like, walking around in a mall just yeah. naked pretty much. And that's fine. And it's like, well, they're but like, don't... it's Vegas. It's, yeah. Vegas. it's Vegas. Well, I mean, they have a lot of topless or nude pools here, too, don't they? Yeah. Like they, I, um, so, yeah, actually, well, at so a couple, I to, rest, yeah, I at a couple. Know. So I um, went to Caesar. Casinos, yeah, they, they had have a topless like they had a pool. topless area, or like oh. I don't want to say I don't know if it was full on naked. Probably, no, I think to- probably it's topless. topless. Yeah. It might have been topless. Yeah. but I just remember being there and being drunk and just going boobs like a guy. <laughs> like I was like, oh boobs, boobs, <laughs> boobs, boobs. I mean, of course they're all really nice too. Like oh, you know they're all like they're fake. probably all fake. Yeah, yeah, they're all yeah. fake. And I was like, well, luck, good no for bra you. And like, yeah. No bra and perfume. They're perky. fake. No, they're definitely oh. fake. Good for you. But I saw it too, and I was like, this is just. I would have assumed it's like the people who shouldn't be naked. Like you always. go to a nude beach. That's how always. Or like beach, uh, I haven't been to a nude beach, but in Nudist Colorado Poly. they have yeah. some nude hot springs. Yeah, they do. Oh yeah. Well, so <laughs> in oh, your right, Colorado, there's like a couple of hot springs, and there's a public one. That's super nice. It's beautiful, but it's like kids and stuff go. So like, uh-huh. I took a day trip by myself to Uray one time, 
because I want to go to the hot springs and I wanted to go like see the mountains and go drink some beer. And yeah. so I'm like, go drive to the hot springs and it's packed, like f- freaking crazy packed. Mm-hmm. And there's little kids running around. I'm like, okay. I was like, I know there's another one. I can't remember if it was nude or not. So I'm like, I'll go try. So I like, type it in. I drive in and the guy tells me and he's like, okay, like this is how it works. And he's like, nude optional. It's not a thing. And I'm like, okay. So I have, like my swimsuit on and a towel and I walk out and there's this dude hops out of the thing. Oh, gosh. And his, I'm pretty sure his dick made eye contact with me. Oh. Like, oh, wait. And I was just like, nope. No. Oh. I know. oh, and it wasn't like the dude you want to no. see. Oh, he no. was like this old, fat dude, never, bald, never. sweaty, and just like, Meh. And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh my God. No, gotta go. And I like, yeah. turned around. The and there's like I'd private snake. rooms. Oh, and I was like, God. I'm just going to sit here by myself. This is, <laughs> this is way better. It's never the people I'm drama, guys. Want. Never the people you yeah, want. Sure. Oh. Why did I just see the that? The first time I went to a nude beach when I was like, you know, when you're a kid and you're like, let's just walk like. Because there's like here and then the nude beaches here, there's like a little bit of rocks like in California, for example. Mm. But we were like, so let's just walk, blah, 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 and like pretend that we're getting rocks or something. And I was fucking traumatized because it was all just <laughs> oh like old, same thing, like old ass, yeah, like huge saggy, people, just... people that are comfortable with their body, oh, basically. Yeah. Too comfortable. And you're not too comfortable with your body until you're fucking old as shit and you don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's all, the people that are on. nude all the time. And you're like, good for you. Not fun. I'm <laughs> like, going to go. Maybe oh when God. I'm 60, 70, I'll just be like, who fucking <laughs> cares? You're going to have your pussy lips tattooed. To, with tattoo, so yeah. sexy. something sexy, sexy. just <laughs> fucking Sunny rock my butthole, your yeah. bod to the whole world. <laughs> Who knows? But it's always those people. I can't wait till that right. day for you. So I'm gonna excited. be the best. I'm gonna steal. <laughs> I'm going to steal all the time, like just from convenience stores and stuff, because I'll get away with it. Yeah, just pretend to be senile, just yeah. curse a lot. I'm and old. you walk out, you just laugh to yourself. Yeah. You're like, ha, ha, ha. What are they going to yeah. do? Like, exactly. Tackle yeah. the old lady. Yeah. Break her hip. Uh, yeah, ma'am, well. what are you talking about? I didn't steal anything. Like, oh, okay. dude, they wouldn't You're even right. fucking ask me. I promise you they wouldn't <laughs> even ask me. They'd be like, whatever she took, if she did take it, I can't <laughs> ask her if she has the little Did airplane you steal bottles condoms? <laughs> it would be I'll, dumb stuff these, like yeah, twinkies like, or something yeah. like this but it's not like a ho-ho i'm not gonna like really steal <laughs> um i want to touch on your podcast before we go because oh. it sounds fucking wait yeah what no, do you know I think you have it totally yeah no it's yet, definitely not yeah, like yeah. set up at yeah, all yeah, yeah. just like had this idea that i wanted to start one for a long time but i was like i'm the type of person where i need like a conversation yeah, yeah like yeah. an in-person conversation yeah, like yeah, if yeah. i was trying like if i tried to talk to myself and like video or do it i would just like oh my gosh that's the most it's awkward it would be awkward, so awkward right? i'd be like oh it's yeah. really hard uh, for people nothing it yeah is. there's so a like, couple people that have like a podcast where it's just them yeah. And it's Ooh. rough. You got to be that like, type of person, yeah. but like, I guess. I'm but there's only very hard. Like there's only so much because yeah. there's no no like feedback. So yeah. it's just like, can you imagine if they're talking to themselves? Like, oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, oh yeah. Oh, I just thought of something. Yeah. <laughs> Back and forth. Like, that's how yeah. it feels like, right? Uh, yeah. No, I couldn't do it. So like, I knew I needed like a co-host or something, like someone. And my friend Chris, who's a criminal defense lawyer in St. Louis, we like yeah. have always have really good. It, like interesting conversations yeah. and it's like always back and forth and we don't agree on everything Perfect. but we have like similar views on stuff but like we come from like different pl- like i'm a female tattoo artist from like the country and he's like a city boy like criminal defense lawyer from st louis so yeah. it's like interesting backgrounds so yeah 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 i'm like when i move out there we're gonna like get it all set up and like Perfect. figure it out so. are you gonna kind of talk about crime and That's stuff? What I was gonna just yeah. like everything, everything? okay cool. yeah i just want to like yeah, yeah yeah whatever like because i want to your guys's like, personality together yeah like we'll probably talk up. about like he has some crazy stories about some like crime oh, stuff I can only so imagine. i was like i can't freaking wait to talk about yeah. some of them because yeah. as long as like the cases are over he's mm-hmm. allowed to is he yeah so oh, okay. like because that's yeah, why i was yeah. like what can we talk about because some of the shit you tell me is like nuts and he's like he does a lot of dui stuff but he's done like other stuff too so he's like as long as the case is over like yeah we're good and yeah like, oh. he just can't mention names yeah. and stuff. <laughs> just like the scenario no names or like yeah no names just, yeah, yeah, yeah like can't like oh, like this is their address like go check them out yeah, like, this, like, this, this, like, this fucking person's yeah. crazy he would lose his yeah. Job. Yeah. yeah so but i'm like then we'll do like stuff like that but i want to talk about just like everything yeah. like whatever comes it's up it's easier yeah. too to do that because if you just talk trying to talk about like one particular subject yeah. there's only again there's only so, so, much, so much shit you yeah, can do. You really need to talk about you need to think of it as far as like thousand episodes yeah two thousand yeah. episodes like what's what are you guys going to be able to, and if it's just friendship chemistry, that will last forever. Yeah. Oh, right? like, I want to do, like, I like what you guys are doing with, like, guests and stuff. Like, that's yeah, what yeah. I want to do. Like, yeah. have interesting people and, like, yeah. Yeah. talk to them about And shit. we don't always, but, like, yeah. you know, here when we have yeah. people that are fucking awesome around us, like, yeah. we're absolutely going to do that. But then you don't always have to have them on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes we just, just 
our fucking dumb bullshit, <laughs> you know? Yeah, let's, you know, I would love to have like him on and you guys on I know. too because well and I'll the just crime you, thing like, she's questions. up there's the crime like podcast scene or just even the crime I love scene them people love them yeah yeah some of them are some really popular last they're, always, last, they're always on the chart last right? podcast sure. on the left is like That's a crime my favorite one. network yeah it? yeah it's so good so good do you like yeah. my favorite murderer girls i mean they i haven't killed listened them. to them yet oh, no. but someone just recommended that well to me. they're like you know two girls in the space did it themselves you know like started from nothing and like sold their podcast for four million dollars wow. and they're just fucking killing it and they, you know, they don't follow any real model. They're just weird fucking chicks. And yeah, they're more the into best. the chemistry of the girls mm-hmm. than whatever they're really talking about. And they're just killing it. That's awesome. So it's like a good model of like, hey, yeah. hey like, yeah, we could get, we can get there. We can yeah. Get that. yeah. Yeah. I can so, do it. So can I. And then now they have a media company. And so last podcast on the left too, like they turned that into a whole media company. So they have other oh, podcasts sick. under them and it's last podcast network. So they are basically like a fucking channel, which is so awesome yeah. for podcasts. And that's what a lot of people are doing. But that's so cool. Um, I mean, one of the coolest. Let's shoot for the moon, you guys. Let's yeah, I know. Do it. Fuck yeah. Let's be on a network together. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to have a buddy to hang out with when I go back I home. Know. My, Dude, yes. That would be sweet. That would, nice. Yes, absolutely. The, that, that would, would be, be like awesome. Classic. Were you in Carolina? I am. Yeah, we're in North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I feel like I have. I can never remember if they're in South or North, but I know I have friends there. Yeah. Well, you're always really close. Yeah. Those two. Where's. Yeah. Charleston, Charleston, South, South Carolina, South Carolina. Okay. but it's okay. four hours. Okay. It's four hours from us. So yeah, okay. that's not that far. Yeah. And it's Charleston awesome. would be cool, isn't it? Like really, yeah, like, like, like Southern. <laughs> no, it's like old money. It's very old, old money, money yeah. but it's like got a lot of history, mm-hmm. and it's yeah. like I don't know. My friend Jenna lives like not too far from there, and she goes there a lot. And she's like, if you come out, like we're take a dra- day trip there because it's oh, like dude. it's beautiful, yeah, it's and she's like, food, it is a little ritzy, but there's good food yeah. and drinking, and she's yeah. like, it's got a lot of character, and I'm like, I love character. It's yeah. awesome. absolutely. It really is. Yeah. You know, I think though, when I think of Charleston, is Southern Charm. I know, like TV show, right? Have you? Like it's a reality TV it's show. I don't Bravo watch it. Really. Show, but it's, it's one of those. But I just think of that. Like, I know, but that's good because that shows you that there is a bunch of like rich kids from old money yeah. that are like running around that's drinking, and it it's is. hilarious. So either way, it's it's good, and it's a big yeah. food town, drinking town. Oh, whatever. is it? Oh, oh yeah, it's I fucking do that awesome. She says, yeah. I know we need to go. Actually, how about you go there? We'll meet there. you there. Yeah. Okay, they have they have a bunch of. We went to a Blink One Eighty Two concert there. That's amazing. Chris and I. What? Great. Yeah, like amazing. That? Blink 182? Yeah. I, I mean, I feel like fun. you like grow Where up with you? them. Right. Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I love them. Get at me. Get at me. It's just um, fun. Like. Yes. And we went It's not there. good, but it's fun. No, yeah. That's what <laughs> I mean. That's great. There was dudes at that concert with colors pop oh, of course oh, they yes. were loafers uh, on and i I'm not punk looking at, at chris going what the fuck i didn't know that was still a thing i love those people yeah. Yeah. <laughs> terrible that's, that's a cultural <laughs> so experience bad like right that. there that's you get your culture <laughs> we saw a lot of this that culture out here. Yeah. yeah real culture real culture <laughs> that's the culture i thing. love how the color popping started and like how it changed because it was like a gay thing was it yeah oh, I had no like idea. when it first originated it was because like being gay wasn't like super okay in public uh-huh. so for dudes who wanted to let other dudes know they were gay they would pop their collars no way yes yeah. this is a Did real thing these bros thing. know this fuck no yeah, oh, yeah. because so, like it just like then it became like a fad and like a yeah, like a douchey school. thing like, that yeah, all guys yeah, yeah. would do but i'm like Funkle but yeah the way it started necklace. it's like the same with like awesome. pants sagging like in prison oh, it started because oh, it was yeah, a gay yeah. thing yeah oh. and yeah so it was like you would let you let them know you're right open Ready. for business and then then it turned into like a, a hip thing for a while which it's terrible but yeah like always love those things because i'm like oh you don't know why you you're don't doing even it. know you do <laughs> but i do awesome. Wait, was that a thing with earrings too right yeah yes. it was like one ear on the left pierced. if you got your left pierced as a guy and then it meant you were gay <laughs> <laughs> microphones are really hard to keep hold of here and then they change <laughs> <laughs> isn't that crazy and then yeah. like if you went up to a guy who was like, oh, you gay? And he'd be like, no, wait, no. no. Like, like, well, one? Well, you, have an yeah. ear, you have one earring in, your collar popped, and your fucking pants yeah. sagging. Your fucking pants sagging. You, you got all, you have a whole you're fucking shebang. You're giving me all the signals here. Are you fucking kidding me? That's fucking awesome. Right? That's such a, yeah. Oh my gosh, I learned something. I know. Podcast. I you're welcome. That. I got a lot of fun facts. I, I love it. I love like sending them to people. More fun facts. I know. I love these little tidbits of things. I know. We need to have you back on. You're freaking awesome. Thank you. I would love that. So we'll just follow you wherever 
wherever you're at traveling wise or you can come out to yeah, Wilmington, yeah. Charleston, whatever. Yeah. You're oh, great. we would absolutely love. If yeah, you came. there's the beach over there. They live near the beach. Cool. You don't I like the beach. You want, I live. If you want some water? Yeah, you know, I like some beach. Okay. Well, it's okay. different than the West Coast beach, which no, I they're like. trash. The West Coast is yeah. terrible. You garbage. can't even go in the water. I yell no. at people. I'm like, mm-hmm. it's garbage water. Yeah. It's literally it's garbage co- shit it's water. Cold it's cold and it's so dirty cold. and like uh, anytime it's I've been to like gorgeous. But don't Ooh. fucking touch it. Yeah, it's, it, it looks like, it looks gross to me. Like Florida, does, yeah. like East Coast beaches, yeah, like Florida oh, and yeah. Carolina. Like warm water, it's beautiful. Yes. Clear, I'm like, like yeah, clear. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is a better one. I know, but <laughs> it is, yeah. when people think of beaches though, sometimes I feel like everyone thinks of California. Right? They're like, oh my god, California. And then when I moved there, I was like, this is because California makes you think that they're the only people in the world. <laughs> okay, it's true. And they aren't. We're most it's important. So You're from there. I know. Oh, no. But I no. no. I'm, I'm well yeah. equipped. I'm well equipped to tell you guys how they think yeah. because I live so there. I'm know. from there. They, they think, think that no one else exists. There's no yeah. such thing as the middle of America. That's not real. We're the only. It's LA. It's LA. They're like, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah. it's right here. Yeah, exactly. Shit, you're about to move into the Bible Belt. I know. I know. It'll be fun though. Oh, I'm, it's a I'm, city. It's I'm a like city, I was homeschooled right? Christian and like were you? shit. Yeah, so you were like, homeschooled. Yeah, till I was sixth grade ish, but I was ten. I was smart and I was like, I really want to go to public school because yeah. my friends are going. Yeah, they weren't my friends. Aww. But but it was a good decision because yeah. I was oh, yeah. fucking weird, like no social skills, yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. So like it definitely like hardened me well, in that's a good a joke way. About that's a good idea, right? Like, yeah. oh, fucking... you're normal for your homeschool. No, kid. it's true. Like, like yeah. I met someone recently. I might have offended him. He's like, I guess a friend, but he was like, oh, I'm gonna homeschool my kids they're like four or five so he's like when they you know i'm gonna homeschool them i was like oh no no yeah. they're gonna be so weird I and he was like well i was too. like no maybe maybe not yours I but know. like from personal experience but yeah. i think it's like i was like in the country like sure. it was just like my sisters and then like my mom so it was that's like there was no other people so yeah, it was yeah, kind of yeah. hard to get social skills yeah. with no other people yeah and that's the point okay. yeah i know so, yeah and i'm like you have ah, to you, you need it wor- it's a it's how do you get skill right? yeah in yeah. real life when you have you to have work to and be around yeah. people and you don't know how to talk to them yeah. or yeah. deal with confrontation or anything yeah. and it's like and look i understand homeschooling like i have two kids and like taking them to school and dealing with that and working yeah. is it's a lot it's a hard fun. so yeah. like if i didn't have to pick you up if we could just do right. this stuff and like you stay at home and i know that you're here but for me personally, I just, yeah. I need them to practice oh, yeah. being social yeah. because I think it's a really, really, to me, I'd much rather them be socially really intelligent than like than just book smart. Yes. Yeah. Like to me, one is more important than the other and social skills can get you so, so much farther. Far. I agree. No, and the so internet can do the rest if you oh, want to look it up sure. or read a book or yeah. something, yeah. right? Like yeah. I was actually homeschooled. I don't know if it was one oh. year or two years. I think it was six. Never knew this. About I know, right? You find out new things every <laughs> You're day. You're so normal. <laughs> so, I am. I am. Well, well like, am oh, I? But I, am I? I don't know. Because I'm really fucking weird. Actually, and now it makes sense. Now this makes sense. I don't know how to pronounce words correctly. Oh, yeah, because your mom, your mom was your teacher for, no. Yeah. And you know what? I was such an asshole. My mom oh, would sure. have, um, she was like, hey guys, get your math homework done. I got like run to the store and I'd go into the answer book and it's fucking. Absolutely. I sucked at math for a while because I actually went to school at, later on and I was like, how do you do this math shit? Because all I did was you're cheat. Like, yeah, you're like, what are the answers? How am I supposed to do this? And I'm like, what? such an asshole. But it was one of those things where I think it was seventh grade or eighth grade. Yeah, I think it was eighth where she was like. Tiffany really needs like Tiffany. I was an extrovert, right? So oh. she was, she was like, she, she needs, needs to be people. around people. She needs yeah. to be around people. Like, yeah. I see it affecting her. And they had these little things, these little class things where you can hang out with other homeschool kids. And it was just hanging out with a bunch of just weirdos. a bunch of weirdos. Oh, dude, seriously, yeah. Which oh, made gosh. it normal, yeah. normalized, right? Uh, I mean, we hung out with a couple of people who were homeschooled and then like because we were on the farm doing 4-h and like shit we hung out with like some mennonites who were also oh, kind of weird nice like totally t- nice had a crochet yep. thank you oh cool yeah Lots of super weird but i was like i'm an introvert so like okay. i just couldn't like i still struggle with it like mm-hmm. having to talk to people but when i was like homeschooled i didn't have to talk to people so it's perfect so I just never did yeah and yeah. then like going to public school i was like if i i couldn't get anything done without having to speak to them and it yeah. was like fuck i had to like i had to learn i was yeah. like otherwise i would have never if i would have just been homeschooled i don't no. need to talk to strangers because no. i have my family yeah you'd be as much practicing as yeah i just can talk older. to them yeah. yeah i would be i would be so fucking weird. i wouldn't be able to talk to people <laughs> so fucking yeah weird. like for yeah. sure like yeah. there's no way i'd be doing what i'm doing now yeah. like yeah. I, I think about it i'm like where the fuck would i be if i was still like right. if Isn't i had been crazy? homeschooled the whole, the whole time. time yeah instead of like no, if i hadn't have asked because yeah. i asked and then my sister 
both of them got put into public school too after I asked. I don't know why it happened. But Were you, like, are you the oldest? No, I got a. So I have an older sister who's six years older than me. Okay. So she, well, before I was born, maybe, or like when I was new, she was in elementary school. And then my okay. mom was like, fuck this place. Took her out. Okay. And we all got homeschooled. I get it. Until I was like 10. Were you just in a bad area, though, too, where the school no. was shitty? Oh, no, okay. It no, the it's same. just rough, dude. Like, I don't know. Just, what, I, don't I don't know. know. <laughs> my mom's fucking psycho. So. Oh, no, but what I'm saying yeah. is there's some areas, even where I live, where the yeah, schools, there's, are, there's, their schools are terrible. There's no crime there. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not like, like that. No. It's just, like, um, my high school kids rode their horses to school. Like, yeah. we're good. We're good. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, like, no, it wasn't like, I don't know why. And then I just, so she was like 16 when she went to high school. So, she, and she struggled oh, really Ooh, hard. Yeah, she was yeah, like, yeah. she was really oh, pretty, God. but like girls were super fucking mean to oh, her. Yeah, like, and you don't understand and she wasn't that. like, she wasn't super book smart. So like being in a classroom was really difficult and oh, like, shit. yeah. And then I was just like super shy and weird and yeah. kids offered to like, Hey, you want to do my homework? I'll be nice to you in front of the other kids. And I was like, this, no, yeah, is no, a that, that's like, a thing. Like that sounds like something I'll do. Cause yeah. everyone else is super fucking mean to me. So yeah. I'll take it. You survived. You figure out what you had to do. Uh, yeah. I mean, it didn't work. It didn't. He, I mean, oh, did kids it? are mean. Oh, they lie. I know. He was like, he I wasn't know. Really that nice to me afterwards. God damn it. Oh, what shit. an asshole. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> I didn't grow up in a public school either. So I never went to like a normal school. I feel like I was in a Christian private oh, school. Oh, shoot. Yeah. You know, so my graduating class was of 29. 29. That's crazy. We had four boys in her class. Oh my God. <laughs> they all were like, girls, stay away from me. Like, yeah. no one. Six inches be- for Jesus. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I know. We all had like purity rings. Like, we we're all Man. saving it till marriage, you know? And like, the thing is, then, and this is why I kind of, I think I felt I had to get away, is because the thing was, like, you go to high school, you meet your significant other there, you get mm. married to them, you have kids, like, you go to college, you get yeah. married at some point when you're going to college. And for the feet, for the girls, it was more so you get your degree, you have kids, you kind of use your degree, but now you're like the mother and yeah. that's the rest of your life. Your and I left. looked at this and I was like, I can't, I can't do this. Mm-mm. Right. Cause I never got my really real world experience until yeah. I worked at yeah. Panera bread company. Oh, that's St. Louis based. St. Yeah. St. Louis so bread St. company. Louis bread oh, company. it is. You didn't know that? No. Yeah, so they, let me I tell you why they changed the name I'll to Panera. Okay. Cause I worked there. Huh. All right. A little fun fact. Right? Please. A little FF here for you. So. When we were working at, we were at corporate, they said, hey, so the reason why we have Panera, because Panera is St. Louis it Bread is. Company. It originated in St. Louis. However, sports fans are so avid oh, well, that oh, they oh, oh, will oh. purposely not eat at a place that's in Atlanta or in fucking Chicago or any other place that's oh. named St. Louis, especially if they're rivals, right? Because St. Louis Cardinals yep. and wow. the Chicago Cubs yep. are like Never major thought of rivals. Never that way. Or Atlanta Braves. And so they were like, that did us a disservice. So they named it Panera. And Panera me- means mother of bread. Because oh, it's the lady yeah, holding it the, the bread like <laughs> oh, a baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So that's, that's interesting. I did. I just knew it was St. Louis bread. Yeah, I was like, yeah. well, maybe since it's not in St. Louis, they were like, we're we'll call Expanded. it something else. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. that makes sense. That, yeah, that's crazy. That's why it was all whole marketing thing. Oh, interesting. Right? Yeah. Ooh. So my whole first real world experience was working there. I worked with the guys on the sandwich salad line, which apparently oh, the girls did it. They worked cashier, oh, shoot. but I was fast paced. Yeah, yeah. And the guys would have me, uh, they go, okay, Tiffany. So when you're done with your salads and to let the, organizer person no just go hold up hold up your hand like this and go shockers yes of course and they, i did and they course. fucked with you oh, and that was naive my, little baby that tiffany was does my, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> was going shocker and my manager came by was like, are, he's are like you what kidding? you got you can't do that <laughs> what are you doing well, Who what told you that? As, yeah. as he's laughing <laughs> yeah because you know i'm pretty sure i I had no experience. I appreciate sure I only got hired because I was but like, can a cute you imagine girl? this right. happening you know? with her not like being so sweet and not oh, knowing so nice. oh, and just a girl I being like, yeah. that was just me. That was me my whole life. I was, I'm so naive still to this day. I'm still learning a you lot. You are a little bit. No, I am. No, I am. Um, and that was, the, my manager was like, so we can't have you do that anymore. And a couple of the customers were like, oh, yeah. No. Shocker, girl. Shocker girl. I'm like, yeah, oh. this chick knows how to fuck. I'm like, I've never kissed a guy in my life. No. You're <laughs> You know what I mean? So there you go. I'll tell you to go that one. I guarantee the manager still works there that I guaranteed. Probably. Probably. Phyllis. Phyllis. Oh. Short blonde hair. Of course. Smokes all the time. Nicest woman ever. I trained her to be a manager. Every time I go back, she's still there. Phyllis. Phyllis. Shout out to Phyllis. Phyllis. Phyllis Speaking of shouting out (laughs) to, to, to gals that we know. 
Um, you want to ask her for one? Yeah, like uh, so. We normally put you on the spot, so this is one of those moments. Sick. <laughs> yeah, so I love, sorry. I don't. But, uh, I don't get do anxiety. A, uh, on drinking, the spot. drinking bro at of the week, and our listeners usually submit mm-hmm. someone in their life, like a woman girl guy whoever mm-hmm. someone that inspired them helped them along the way someone they always think of it's usually whoever pops into your head first yeah. when i say that right okay. like someone that that you want to basically that you want to shout out be a like, bro you know that you want to make drinking bro out of yeah. the week that someone oh, that's that you cool. want to like yeah. okay. shout out a woman that or man sorry or man oh we can do that. yeah whatever it is i mean sometimes you know, someone did like their father, like whoever fucking helped you out, inspires you, keeps you going like that or someone along the way that was fucking awesome to you that changed you. Oh, changed me. I mean, I have a lot of ama- amazing females in mm-hmm. my life now, so I think that's going to be really hard to choose like one. Well, um, throw out your girl gang then. My girl, girl gang. Yeah, go, your girl gang. Girl gang. Um, yeah, like your, your group of girls that you just love. And, like, yeah, love my and friend Jenna you. that I mentioned that lives in uh, South Carolina. Uh-huh. I freaking love her as a human. She's like an incredible person. She's a first form person too. That's like, oh, I met her through Jenna first Fale. form. Jenna Fail. Oh, okay. She's fucking awesome. Yeah. She's such a good person and I love her. She's like one of my best friends now. And like, it's funny because we're such different people. Mm-hmm. Like on the outside, you would think like she's blonde and super pretty Mm -hmm. and like super country she sounds like but she's like into hardcore metal music and like yeah and i'm like (laughs) and i'm like i love country music and like it's so opposite like we look so crazy together and we but we get along so well but she's like super motivating like she works for herself like she's just an awesome person Mm -hmm. yeah and And she was nice to you supportive to you yeah oh no she's always like never a super support like we actually like the first time we like hung out was in vegas the first forum bought uh rooms for some of us for the olympia which is like a big bodybuilding yeah. show yeah and she came and she didn't have somewhere to stay and i was like well i have an extra bed in my room like i'll let you stay here um and we'd never talked before and so we stayed and we had like the best time like you love that? we went love to it. like a shitty club mm-hmm. and everyone was like drinking and we we're like hey do you want to go we left and went and had pizza and like <laughs> Perfect. and That's went to our right. room yep. and talked That's i was nice. like this is so much better better we were yeah. in like sweatpants eating pizza i was like this is great and like since then like we took like a girl's trip to salem just us for like halloween and like she's awesome but she's like super motivating for like fitness and like health and like she's just a badass human Shit. well and shout out jenna. To jenna jenna drinking bro out of the week yeah um you were awesome thank you I know. so thank much. you for having me this I was fun, fun. I had fun. for the listeners yeah. be like you got her on <laughs> And I'll give myself we a call. Yeah. Like, I know. I told you we would. Yeah. We make your dreams come true, people. Come Here on, on people. We're doing it. Yeah. But we're really happy to meet you and yeah. get to know you a lot more. And we'd love to have you on again. Or And we wish you the best luck with your podcast. Yeah. Thank you. Let us know when it I will. Happens yeah, for sure. And when you guys, it takes a second. So oh, we get yeah. that. But we'll shout it out and we'll. Hell yeah. Maybe yeah, you do guys some are crossover awesome. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. Where yeah. can our listeners find you at? Because they're probably going to want to look you up, yeah. girlfriend. Instagram. That's pretty much all I use. Okay. Where And do they just search Marissa Loren? Yeah. I have two. I have like my personal. Yeah, which is just my name, and then I have Marissa Loren tattoos, which is like my okay. tattoo page. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. All right. I say so. If you're in Vegas and you want a tattoo, don't not in Vegas because I won't be here anymore. Oh, she's oh, if there. you're in she's okay, St. Wait, St. Louis. I know, Louis. You moving, like moving. March. Oh, you okay. Can so soon. look her up okay, and so find yeah. out where up. she is. Yeah, St. Louis. Yeah. Oh, you do you like Nelly? I mean, I, I got, he did a he did an event for First Form. He was super nice. Yeah, he did what? a free like concert for a First Form event oh, we shit. had. They got him to come. He, everyone said he's super nice. He is. Yeah, and he's like really like stellar pillar of the community in St. Oh Louis. My, gosh. my Uber driver told me that once. Oh, did okay. he? Yeah, he's like, well, you know Nelly, and I'm like, I do. You know sort of. Nelly? Not personally. And he's like, <laughs> he's a great guy. Well, your Uber driver <laughs> is obviously the smartest man in the obviously, world. He knows what he's talking about. Always. But Nelly and the St. Lunatics, like we were so proud of them when we lived there i tried um i think i was telling ross the other day i tried to um what do you call it when you go on someone's property you're not allowed to be there trespass. oh, trespassing. I, trust, I trespassed <laughs> we worked it out we on, worked his, it out. Pro- on his property <laughs> when i was, when I was in high school and we were like and then we got caught and my girlfriend and i had um the band-aids on her face oh that's what i wore, love this right and uh, got caught. his security okay. was like, excuse me, ladies. And luckily we're like too young. Yeah. You're really young cute girls. girls. Super fucking innocent. And they're like, well, first you're trespassing. Um, you scared a. the shit out of us. He's not home. And we're like, okay, can you tell Nelly we said hi? <laughs> Cause she lived in the same area yeah. as him in like, like St. Louis. So we had to, we snuck hey. out. <laughs> Thank God we didn't get stuck by the cops. So uh, you have to do, you have to do that for me. Or at least try him again. Trespass on Nelly's yeah, what property. Yeah, what do you 
Get arrested? No, like go to his house. Like get invited. With a band aid. Oh, okay, with a band aid on your like, face. Yeah. Next time you see him with a band on your face, you're like, this is for Tiffany. I don't even think he has that still. No, he doesn't. Yeah. No, it's old school. I think he, it is old it's school. nostalgic. He's like, he's like, I've been around. He's like, yeah. oh, my ride or die, clearly. Yeah, fan. yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. It's nostalgic, and he'd be like, "Dude, you've been with me for, since day since one." Day one. Band-aid one. I'm like, <laughs> Band-aid Tiffany one. told me to tell you hi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you yeah. know her. You know, she you know Tiffany. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she broke into your house once. <laughs> you like, no, that stupid bitch. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> All right, well, let's hang out sometime. Yeah. Yes, awesome. please. I love that. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Bye, girl. See ya. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move. Yeah, don't y'all better things to do, yeah, go buy some fucking shoes, yeah, you're irritating, irritating, you're sick.